Hey everyone, Ian at MA Performance here. New video, this is actually a release video, which is pretty exciting. Um, normally you see me talking about Subaru things, but today we've got a German automobile, MK6 GTI. This car is actually owned by one of our employees, Bill, but he was very kind enough to uh, let us play with his GTI. Anyways, in the automotive industry, think of What's one major thing that doesn't go together, like oil and water, right? What about Volkswagen and Cobb access port? Normally, those things, two things never go together, but not anymore. Times have changed. We're in a new era. And Cobb is actually releasing the access port for MK6 GTIs, which we just happen to have here. We've uh, been working on this kind of behind the scenes for the past couple of months. Got some baseline testing done. So uh, we're gonna just take it around for a, for a spin and we'll kind of talk about some of the benefits and features. All right guys, we're in the GTI. We've got the access port plugged in. It's running, it's data logging. Very important parameters. Look how important those numbers are. Very important. That's enough. Let's go drive this thing. Anyways, I told Bill I'd name drop him on the video. So, thanks Bill, 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 Bill. This is Bill's car, everyone. Bill, that should be enough name drops, you think? Okay. So yeah, the access port, now available for GTIs. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, I mean, you guys are probably already aware from some of our previous access port videos, you know, the general idea behind a Cobb access port, but what, is this, what does this mean for people that own this kind of a platform? <laughs> So if you're unfamiliar with uh, the European, you know, some of the Audis and some of the other Volkswagen, specifically GTIs and the Golfs and Jettas and whatnot, um, in the tuning world, essentially, man, for years, it's just been, um, you're buying tunes from tuning companies, which are essentially off-the-shelf tunes, and they, they work well, and they've always worked well, which is why I think it's just kind of always been a thing. I've got an MK7 Golf myself running a, an APR Stage 1 tune, and I love it. But the nice thing is now, people that own these cars, they finally get to have flexibility. So if you own one of these and you buy an intake, or you buy a downpipe, or you buy an intercooler, or if you buy a custom turbo kit, build your motor, build your cylinder head, now you're going to have the ability to go to any local Cobb tuner and have a custom map made for you. This has pretty much never been widely done in the in the golf community so I think the fact that people can take these and you know finally get custom tunes done and something that's going to support their mods specifically for their car I think it's gonna be pretty huge. Um, we have thrown on the dyno so we have did some stock numbers as this car is completely bone stock. So we did get some baseline numbers and then we flashed it with Cobb's off the shelf 91 octane map right now. So I think we saw 40 wheel horsepower and somewhere in the close to 50 foot pounds of torque gain uh, just right off their off the shelf map. So obviously these are going to become preloaded with those tunes, you know, they're going to have 91 octane, 93 octane and they're also going to do they have low boost and high boost tunes, so those are all going to be preloaded. But again, uh, obviously, the the ability for custom tuning is going to be the biggest benefit, in my opinion, for for people that own these cars. So um, obviously, they're starting with the MK6 first. It's been out for a while. Um, they're wildly popular, and then you know eventually they're going to move into the MK7 platform. And um, next plan for this car is going to be custom tuning. So. Uh, right now, the numbers are going to show you, again, these are just off-the-shelf octane maps. Um, but we're going to be doing some pro-tuning on this car and hopefully showing you the benefits of a pro-tune versus an off-the-shelf map for these, uh, these engines. So, again, uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions, always feel free to hit me up. Um, Ian at Emmy Performance, you can give us a call. You can find me on the Facebook. You could call in, ask for Eric Bloom, our photographer, say, can I speak to Ian, the guy on the videos, and he'll say, yeah, no problem, let me go grab him for you. 
and then, you know, he'll get me. Where all tracks? That actually wasn't too bad. So again, thanks a lot. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more updates on the MK6. Um, we're going to be doing some, some fun things with this car. And uh, as am I. I'm going to go enjoy it. Unfortunately, Bill left me with very little gasoline. So we're not going to get to go far. I think he did that on purpose. Unless he expected us to fill it up. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. I'm speeding. I should stop. I should, should I stop? Yeah, stop. Thanks, guys.